Hello, I hope this uh, video finds everyone staying home and healthy as we go over the next wave of the pandemic. Um, I just want to do a little bit of a different sort of content, I suppose. Uh, when this first struck, I had these great visions of doing all these crafting tutorials and having all this time to get a lot of stuff done. And I really haven't. I've been, oddly enough, focusing on making these masks or doing some sort of gardening or some outdoor stuff. And it's given me a lot of time to reflect on what's going on and stuff. So I thought I would just make a little video. Having all this extra time has given me an opportunity to practice a skill that I'm not very good at, and that would be sewing. Um, for whatever reason, better or worse, learning how to sew was my midlife crisis. I didn't really go for a twink blonde in a red sports car. I decided to purchase a Kia soccer mom vehicle and learn how to make a quilt top. So, um, still kind of fascinated by the art of sewing. I'm not a genius or a natural by any means, even though I like to think I can just take some fabric and whip it into something. I am quite fascinated by the concept of taking some flat fabric and making it into clothing or a bag, or in this case, a mask. It's pretty cool to me. So uh, before the pandemic hit the stateside, I was working on our next miniature release, which is coming along very well, actually, oddly enough, and uh, was making some crafting tutorials. So I have a bunch of crafting tutorials that are kind of halfway done in the progress of getting half the footage done. And um, I got sidetracked by making masks and taking up the front part of my house, the living room, and making that into a setup sewing station. So since I'm working on that, I thought, why not make some additional content? And here we go. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, leave a comment down below with uh, what are you doing to stay busy? Uh, I've also set up a little bit of a garden in my backyard. I like to grow vegetables. And uh, lately I've been growing some flowers for the pollinators that come to my yard. I've got a couple of bee colonies a honeybee colony, and I think the other one is a carpenter bee, even though it could be bumble, I'm not sure. And uh, this is their fourth year, I believe, that they've been coming to my backyard. So I decided to plant them some something else, some food as well. Also, I've been sleeping quite a bit, which for me is not necessarily a good sign, but I've been sleeping a lot, which is kind of interesting during this bit of quarantine and I'm sure a bit of that is depression as well as just being getting old and you I feel like I need naps. I've been working on the Kickstarter project, the gingerbread gang, gardening, entertaining the felines around the house, cooking, mowing the grass, mowing the neighbor's grass, making masks, trying to get motivated to make YouTube content. My gaming has interrupted because I don't online game, I game in person, and all my D&D &D games, the one that I'm the DM of, as well as the one that I partake in as a player, those have stopped. Frostgrave games, those my campaign for that has stopped. Any of my Gaslands games have stopped, so I'm just kind of just here making, learning, falling back in love with sewing, I guess you could say, and taking care of the the nature outside. So the forgotten pollinators, as they're called. Interestingly enough, during this pandemic stateside and with the shortage of disposable hospital masks, a community of sewers has sprung up sewing masks. And there's all sorts of different patterns and groups and everything's happening online. And now with the recent CDC recommendations that everyone wear a mask to protect others if you're sick. Um, it's really interesting. And 
it's made me kind of reevaluate, like, in an apocalypse situation, wh- who, who would be the valuable folks? And I just know my ass is covered. I could grow some food, I could cook it, and I can sew some clothes. And I'm a crazy bitch, so I'll swing a bat at you. I guess I'd be good for a little while, I suppose, till the villages ran me off with pitchforks and torches. <laughs> But yeah, it's kind of interesting thought. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Um, it's kind of interesting times we're living in, and I don't really know. Uh, I've never really thought that there was normal. Normal to me is just a setting on a dryer cycle. So when people say return to normal, I'm like, well, that normal doesn't really exist. But I don't know. I just hope all the first responders and the people out there are staying healthy and safe, all the nurses. I know it's hitting pretty bad right now. I'm doing my best to stay home because that's what I hear I can do to keep everyone safe and not be a vector or carrier of the virus. So I'm doing my best to stay home. I also think this really does help folks with anxiety. It gives uh, us nervous Nellies something to do with our time. Give us a, help us feel like we're actually making a difference. Um, and a friend of mine just stopped by today to pick up some masks. Uh, I didn't see her. We kept a distance. I told her I wasn't coming out of the house. I left them for her on the door front for her and her mom uh, and her daughter. I left him three. Uh, I'll probably have to make a new one for the kid because the, their adult size is the one that I made. So maybe her mom gets two. Her mom has cancer. And um, even though it's not really much of a protection, it's, it's something. Because her mom has to go out there and get chemo treatment and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I've also been trying to stay outside a lot. Go outside and get some vitamin D. Sit in the yard. Uh, hang out with the cats outside. Let them wear themselves out. And we've got some interesting uh, wildlife that goes on. I, li- I live in the in the city of Louisville. But oddly enough, there is interesting wildlife out here. Um, a woodpecker has taken up residence in the neighborhood. I hear them tapping all the time. And for the like second or third year, there's a falcon or a hawk or some kind of hunter bird that's been in the neighborhood. And I got some footage of some what I believe are mockingbirds who were having all sorts of fits and bird drama chasing off, trying to chase off this uh, raptor. What we're seeing here are what I believe are mockingbirds dive bombing the raptor trying to psych it out and get it to leave this tree. And by my estimation, I think there were three, two or three of these little birds. See how it just swooped down? That lump that you see kind of in the middle of the screen, that's a bird. That is not part of the tree. So when you see the little birds swooping down, they're swooping down in it trying to psych it out. Those little mockingbirds are trying to annoy the fuck out of that raptor to get it to leave their tree. And uh, I've got a couple of robin in the backyard, and I've got a cardinal family in the backyard. So all in all, I think I've sewn about 30 fabric masks because that's the amount of elastic I had for them. I lost count. Um, On Facebook, I did a post for my local community offering free masks to anybody who would come by for a porch pickup. And I also mailed out a bunch of the masks to to some friends of mine who requested some. So I went through all my elastic and I had a great time doing it. So thank you for watching this vlog. I know it's not my typical content. It's uh, quite a stray away from tabletop gaming terrain or talking about D&D. promise I'll get back on track soon after I'm done with this project. Um, I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy at home. Stay safe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if I'll do, be doing many more like it. Not really the niche of the channel. But um, I thought it was kind of appropriate and kind of an interesting thing to do to document these interesting times. So... Have a good one, stay safe, and I'll be seeing you later.